Hey everybody, welcome back to Space Quest. Full Hall Strikes Back. I am the Blues 32. And last time we did... We turned off the self-destruct sequence for that one thing. And we registered our face into the shuttle bay. So we should now be able to get inside. And see what goes on in there. Well, I can't help but feel like we're missing something because, you know... You've never used a face scanner before, have you? Missing something because we never got to photocopy anything. With a high-pitched, encouraging beep, the machine accepts your face and opens the door. How nice of it to, to accept my face. Guards. Why did it have to be guards? There should really be pylons around that. Or at least a non-smoking sign. We must build additional pylons. The apes around this crash ship's... The apes found this crashed ship somewhere on the dunes near Mos Espa in the only slightly better shape than the pilot was. I guess spinning wasn't such a good trick. This must be the apes' industrial iron for laundry day. It's one of Volhall's shuttles. That's the lo eighth largest cannon I've ever seen. It would have been the largest if you hadn't decided to take one of your f first dates to the big cannon museum. It was a learning experience for the both of us. Yeah, I doubt you learned anything. Those apes are ignorant to your presence, but the one with the, the gun looks like he's itching for a shooting. You can make out the a faint woman-shaped seam, seam welded into the roof of this vehicle. It seems the previous driver had a big fair fall into his lap that he couldn't resist. Well, either that or she's in traction. You need a multi-pass to ride this taxi. No need to call a taxi, one's already here. Hmm, not what to do about these clowns. You should probably n n you should probably not try to draw their attention with that. Hmm. Hmm. You're too old to be playing fireman, Roger, and too accident prone to be playing it with a hose full of explosive fuel. Not without tequila and vodka. You stick your head in between the power couplings. Now you're... Now... Now you're thung... You consider hot wiring this thing and getting out of here, but you don't have the necessary Jedi reflexes to maneuver it out of that parking spot. The shuttle is locked. You wipe your mouth on the shuttle. You're really getting into this, aren't you? Shark ship? Does this mean the sh jets and the sharks are friends now? The door's locked. This ship's more likely to eat you. You were right. Roger Wilco was here on the side of the shuttle with your tongue. It tastes awful, but it was worth it. Hey! This... <laughs> hey, this inviting-looking wide-open door is just painted on. Who would do that? I like that. I like that a lot. You need to get your feet up there first. It isn't voice operated. Mmm. There's a bunch of big capsules apparently used to ship cargo and personnel to Volhall's moon base. This one's full of laundry. It's a console for the cannon. Apparently this is how you fire it. 
What? Who's there? Griff, fire blindly in that direction. Here's a hint. Lose the guards. You have no idea what you're you're doing. These controls are built for a monkey. It doesn't respond to the voice command, so don't bother. Sorry to interrupt, my good sirs, but I have something for you. He's got a gun! Shoot him! Hmm. How to lose these guards. Catnip. Hmm. Well. This is another fine mess I've gotten myself into. What's this? This inbox is full of manuals, warranties, and receipts for the cannon. Whoop, what? It also contains some launch codes for the guards. You take the launch codes from the inbox. These look like secret military codes. You resist all urges to crumble, rip, or otherwise destroy the potentially important documents in this game. You could eat this sheet, but you're not sure you could throw it back up in mint condition. Yes, keep doing that. It seems to be working. Hmm. What do you mean I have no idea how to operate it? Look, it's right there! Maybe I should go try and copy these. I don't know why. But, honestly, I can't think of anything else to do. What a way to start a video. If by start I mean about three minutes in. A moment later, the machine spits out a nicely copied duplicate on Goldenrod. Heh, <laughs> Goldenrod. Why did I do that? It's your exact copy. It's, it's your... It's just like your copy, except on Goldenrod. What's the point? Why did I do this? Understand. Um. No, wrong one. I didn't mean to go here. I meant to go to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Hey, Ludi. Do you want this? Not really, no. I don't know. I guess you try putting the old, the, the uh, actual copy back.
You deftly slip the photocopy into the inbox, avoiding any attention from the guards. Why? I don't understand. Apes will need them. For what? I don't get it, man. Is there anything I should be, like, messing around with, or... There's a strange circular device leaning against the wall. You assume this is some kind of miniature flying saucer. You twist the lever on the device and, the, and air immediately starts to escape. You close it again as not to depressurize whatever's inside. You lick some of the dirt out from between the treads. Nope, wasn't one of your smarter ideas. We hear. Mm, must be zero hour. Nah, you don't even know the time, anyways. Wait. You don't eat. Yeah, okay. Time for a snack. Uh oh, the new Johnny Castaway pinup calendar is out, and it's the bikini edition. Ew. You flip over the calendar months looking for girly pictures. Such is not the case here. You nibble off a month of the calendar and save it for later. This looks like the console here. What about the lamp? Hmm, you remember that ship being parked outside Monolith Burger that one time someone bent off and swiped your vanity plate and bumper stickers? You don't decide to reach up and take the ship. The ship decides whether you move away or m towards it. What? You n need a taste scope to determine the poster's flavor from down here. Ooh, president's choice. If the president's drinking it, it must be good. You already had a can and squandered it foolishly. No more for you. You lap up some of the condensation around the can. You're now a host for something. Congratulations. You push the comm link button and begin to speak. Uh, hello, apes. This is your commander speaking. Private Simmons reporting, sir. What are you doing down there? Didn't you hear the alarm? Alarm? What's going on? This fortress is about to explode. Get out while you can. Explode? Hmm. Typical of, of everyone to just run off and not say anything. Well, I assure you, sir, we will stand by here. Stand by you as the you go down with the, the real ship. No! Run! Flee! Seriously! It's an honor to die with such a valiant commander. Oh, never mind. We're not exploding anymore. Hmm. Where are the keys to my shuttle? Which one's your shuttle? Uh, the green one over there. That old heap, we're scattering it for parts. I mean the orange. That's my shuttle, sir. Do you know where the keys for any of the shuttles are? 
No, sir. What is that cannon's function? That? We use that to fire capsules to our moon base, sir. Can you operate it? Well, we don't operate this cannon too often. We just started this week. But I'll do my best to give it a shot, sir. You guys can take five if you want. We are already taking five, sir. I mean, you can leave if you want. Go home early. This is our home now, sir. We've come to know you all as family. Can you just go stand out in the hallway or something? Sir, are you okay? Do you want us to come up there? No, no, I'm fine. Prepare for further instructions. Preparing, sir. All hands to your stations. Yes, sir. I. Right. Oh, wait. This is a test, isn't it? No, just do it. At the orientation, they said if the commander doesn't use the special launching codes, he's probably an intruder trying to dupe us into launching him to the moon. I'm catching on quite quickly, aren't I? Oh. Okay, okay. I'll see what I can do. Ah... Toka Banjo Sandwich. We're at our station, sir. Good work. Sandwich Poka Lima. Oh boy, here we go. Congratulations. I don't know why I just took walkie talkies. I doubt they'll be gone for long. You open the capsule and slip inside amongst the dirty socks and drop straps. Wait. Wait. I have an idea. This idea is good. You're gonna love this idea. You cleverly place one on the button. Now you can hear your voice wherever you go. This is genius. I have to wait for them to come back. <whistles> now, come on, man. Attention, guards. Uplick Naval Poka. Oh, yeah. Poka Banjo Sandwich. Uplick Naval Poka. Okay, the weight limit checks out. Loading cannon now, sir. Ouch. Banjo Lemur Naval.
modern simplicity of space travel never ceases to amaze me. Except for all the times it does. Leave it alone, Roger. It's already served your purpose. Now you must serve yours. This is the gravity dampener pad that makes sure the capsules don't break when landing or burn up in what little atmosphere the moon has. In essence, this pad just saved your life, Roger. Wait, what? Thank you, pad. The gravity dampener feels damp. You put your head above the gravity dampener and feel slightly lightheaded. Yes. Yes. Alright, now what? Ooh, exhaust port. It's a ventilation shaft that could very well be your only ticket into the base it, if, it, <clears throat> if those unbreakable bars weren't in the way. In order to gain the superhuman strength needed to break these bars and enter the moon base, you must first go on an impossible side quest to your fortress of cleanliness. In order to battle your, fa your battle your father's ghost and regain your Xenonian powers. Or find the eternal and less challenging solution to this puzzle. Your teeth have no effect on the bars. Use the glass. Hmm. Gunfire detectors like this are scattered around the moon's surface. You don't know how to operate it doesn't respond to your voice. It doesn't love you like I do. Blown away's neon sign can clearly be seen from across the moon. You imagine the apes are aware of this business. They just choose to ignore it. It's blown away, the most popular 24-hour military surplus chain across the galaxy. How do they stay ahead of the competition? Is it because they sell subatomic weapons of mass destruction at insanely volatile prices? Or what about the continental morning breakfast from their bomb shelters out back? Or maybe it's just simply the fact that they are not afraid to lob hand grenades through the competitors' windows. No matter what, it's the only commercial establishment within a thousand miles of here, so you'll have to make do with whatever they've got. Oh my. This wormy looking guy looks like he's seen a lot of sheep action on the battlefield. This is Gosper's glider gun. The got the Glasper bleh, the Glasper glider gun seems different from all the other weapons on sale here, and for a number of reasons. First, it shoots out entire spaceships at a quarter of the speed of light. Secondly, its ammunition is infinite. Thirdly, it's just a mathematical concept that does no actual damage to physical objects. Some believe the latter to be a con contributing factor to its low rate of success in the weapons market. You wonder if Beatrice's birthday is coming up. Ah, the bargain bin. Sometimes you forget there's whole other stores beyond these. The weapons are within your price range, but beyond your skill level. In fact, just picking any of them up could result in a disastrous fatality. It's the Rapture 9000! You could clear out a small country with one of these babies. Unexploded shell sits above the door. You don't want to be around when that shelving gives out. Something tells you this sign isn't meant to be funny. Careful, Roger. This poster is probably rigged to explode if you tamper with it. You'd rather not lick the poster given its proximity to biological weapons in this place. Given your track record, Roger, you should really wear one of these more often. As usual, the, pr the proper protective equipment is just out of your price range. Guess you'll have to settle with the cooking pot for now. Let's not use our mouth on the helmets and say we did. You wonder if he's playing Minesweeper. 
Many action shooters always have a surplus of unexploded exploding barrels, such dw which dweeble sells at a discount price. They're bazookas, the funniest named pieces of deadly artillery ever manufactured. There's enough weaponry behind the counter to fuel a small revolution. Yowzers, this weapon shop is everything one would ever need to survive a zombie apocalypse. Hi, I'm Roger. Real's name? Sergeant Dweeble to you, maggot. We have. Where did you get all these weapons? Military surplus. Once the ape get new weapons, they discard all the old ones and critters, leaving me to forage. I have enough power, power to, in here to kickstart a black hole and love it. And I love it. Do you get much business? Ever since them blasted apes moved in next door, I haven't gotten a single customer. Do you, don't you get all your merchandise from them? It's a vicious cycle, my friend. A vicious cycle. How do you fire guns without any fingers? With perfect aim, that's how. I need guns. Lots of them. Well, well, we just got in a whole shipment of atomic railguns. They use these guns down, to down warships from across the galaxy back in the Battle of Cheetah 7. That sounds good. We've also got a star generator sitting around in the back. Its targeting's a bit off, but if you aim at something big, this weapon... This is a weapon to have. Star generator? Anything liftable, perhaps? Ah, yes, your old standard millimeter weapons. Got these babies for 25 zoids apiece. I'm a bit stripped for cash. How much do you have? I've got a bucket. Have a good day, maggot. Requesting permission to leave, sir. Dismissed, private. Don't break the Gosper's glider gun, Roger. You'll ruin the whole joke for the five players who would get it. Nah, that's not me. But, anywho... I think we'll end the video here for now. When we return, hopefully progress will be made. Until then, I am the Blues32. This is Space Quest... Volhall Strikes Back, TTFN, ta-ta for now.